Hello everyone, in this tutorial, I am going to show you how you can upload your Laravel project to the Hostinger H panel. So here, this is my Laravel project and I want to upload this project to the Hostinger and make it live. So I am going to show you everything step by step how you can upload the Laravel project to the Hostinger and make it live. So first of all, you need to log into your Hostinger. After logging to your Hostinger, you need to choose your domain so i have two domain over here and i want to upload my laravel project to this domain so i am going to click over here manage then i will go down and here you can see manage your website and here you can see manage site button so we are going to click here and once we click here we will see something like this here you can see file manager database so right now i am going to click on file manager and once we click on file manager it will open in different tab and you will see something like this. So here you can see public underscore HTML. And if you now go inside, there you can see it is empty. You might see a dot htaccess file over here. So right now we need to upload our Laravel project over here in this public underscore HTML folder. So first of all, before we upload, we need to zip our Laravel project. So here uh, you can see e-commerce pro. This is the Laravel project. So first of all, we need to zip this. So for it, I'm going to right click here. Then click on show more option and I'm going to click here send to compressed zip folder. So it will take some time to zip the project because this is quite a large project. So right now I'm going to fast forward the video. So here you can see our zip creation is complete. So right now we can upload our project to the public underscore HTML. So we'll go inside this folder. And here you will see this icon. So this is the upload icon. So I'm going to click here. Then I'm going to click on file. And our project is in the new volume E over here. You can see uh, e-commerce pro.zip. So I'm going to select this zip file. Then click on open. And it will start uploading over here. You can see. So it may take different time depending on your project size. So right now I will just fast forward the video. And there you go, our project upload is complete. So right now we need to extract this zip file. So for it, we need to right click on the project and here you can see extract option, click on extract. And here choose folder name. In this input, we need to give a slash because we want to extract this folder directly in the public underscore HTML folder. So we'll give a slash and we'll keep everything the way it is and click on extract. And it will extract this project. And there you can see our extract is complete. So right now, if we go inside this folder, here you can see we have some folder and file over here. So right now, what we need to do is that we need to select all of those file and folder and we need to move it to the public underscore HTML. So here you can see this icon. So I'm going to click here and here you can see multifold selection enable. So I'm going to select all of those folder on by on. And after selecting the folder, I will also select the file as well. And you need to make sure that you select all of the files from here. And right now, we are going to move this to the public underscore HTML. So here you can see an icon. So I'm going to click on this icon. And then I'm going to click on this or select this two dot folder. So this is basically the public underscore HTML folder. Just select this and click on move. And all those files will be moved here. You can see directly to the public underscore HTML. So right now, if I now go inside to the public underscore HTML, there you can see we have a lot of files and folder over here. So here you can see we have the zip. So we can just delete the zip from here. And here, let me just check this uh, folder public e-commerce pro. If we now go inside, okay, there is one more file over here. Uh, we don't need to copy the git file or folder so i'm just going to move this to the public underscore html and we are done so we can now delete this e-commerce pro folder so i am going to click on delete and delete so it is done so after this what we need to do is that we need to go inside the public folder and inside the public folder here you can see we have a lot of folder and files as well so here again, I am going to select all of those folder one by one. 
and this time I am going to copy this. So you need to click on this copy icon, then select the public path. I mean public underscore HTML, which is this one, double dot, select this and then click on copy. And those file will be copied to the public underscore HTML. And here we are going to click on replace and it's done. So all the folder and files in the public uh, folder will be moved or copied to the public underscore html so we are done with the file upload and making some changes so right now we need to make some changes in the index.php so let me just right click here and click on edit and over here let me just zoom in so here you can see storage uh, we have two dots so i'm going to remove the dot and slash from here again before the vendor, we are going to remove the double dot from here and also for the bootstrap as well. After this, we are going to save this and we can now close this. So let me just zoom out. So now we are done with the file upload and every other changes. So right now, if we just go to our uh, domain, this is our domain, srtcbd.com, you will see a error message because we did not set any database. So right now what we need to do is that we need to go to the dashboard, uh, our domain dashboard, and then here you will see this database option. So click on database. So once you click on databases, it will take you to this page and here you can see database name. So we need to give a database name for our project. So let's say the database name would be e-commerce, and the username will be e-commerce the same one so let me just copy this and paste it over here and what will be the password let's just keep the username uh, database name and password almost same so i'm going to paste it here Control c Control v so let me just show you the database password which is basically the same so here uh, for posting our we need to add a capital and a symbol so i'm going to add a capital letter and at the rate over here. So this will be our password. This is the username and this is the database name. So right now I'm going to click on create. And once we click on create, it will create a database over here. Here you can see database created successfully. And if we now go down, here you can see MySQL database and the MySQL username. And you can also modify the password or change the password as well. So here you can see enter PSM admin. So I'm going to click here. And once you click here, it will open PSMI admin of Postinga. So here you can see we are in the PSMI admin and here you can see the database. So in this database, we need to upload our Laravel project SQL file. So here we need to click on this database. Then we need to click on import. Then we need to click over here, choose file. And here uh, e-commerce post our project, which is this one. If you now go inside this project, here you can see I have the SQL file. So I'm going to select this, then click on open and there you can see this SQL file is selected. So we are going to go down and we are going to click on import. And once we click on import, there you can see we have a lot of table in this database. There you go. So right now what we need to do is that we need to go to our public underscore HTML. And this time we will go down and we will look for the dot env file. Here you can see. So we need to modify this. So I'm going to right click here, then click on edit. And let me just zoom in. So the first one over here you can see app URL. So the app URL will be our domain. So here you can see srtcbd. This is our domain address. So I'm going to copy this and paste it over here. And I'm going to remove the slash from here. Then we'll go down. And here you can see DB database, username and password. So here you can see our database name is this one. So I'm going to copy this. And I'm going to paste it over here. Then our username was same as database. But the password was a little bit of different. We added a capital A and at the rate at the in. And that's all. After giving those input just click over here save and it will be saved so right now we can close this and if we now just refresh our domain over here you can see our website laravel website is now live and 
anyone can see this Laravel website after going to this domain. And FD data over here is coming from the database. So this is how you can upload your Laravel project to the hosting guard. I tried to make this as simple as possible and I also tried to show you every step really easily. I hope this was useful. If you have any question or any confusion or if you face any problem, just let me know in the comment section. Make sure to subscribe and I hope to see you in the future tutorials.